It's your boy DJ Academics, and now the question here is, will Nicki Minaj, the pink print, go triple styrofoam or nah? Now, here's the thing, because Nicki Minaj put out the pink print last week, she's been doing this whole little uh, promo run where she's crying over her ex-boyfriend, she's pretty much using the K. Michelle stimulus package, she gotta get this album sold. Now, people wanna know if her album will flop. Because she was doing pop music, now she says she's coming back to hip-hop. So people want to say, is if she does hip-hop, does it sell the same? Will it sell less? Will she just catch a fucking belly flop? Now, the numbers are coming back, and it's coming back slowly, but it is coming back. And from Hits Daily Double, they're usually accurate with their predictions. If you've never heard of them, you probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anyway. However, they usually have their numbers predicted to be within 10 or 10 or 15% within the final numbers. Now, they're saying Nicki Minaj with the pink print should sell 201,000 records. Within a day or so, we'll find out from fucking SoundScan and it's probably going to be around 200 or 210 or 15. But here's the question. Did she fucking flop? Now, I want to submit to you that she did not flop. Some might say she did. Let's put this in perspective. J. Cole, he actually sold 375,000 records first week. That's fucking huge, if you ask me. Now, with Nicki Minaj, I'm not sure if it counts the actual digital sales because with J. Cole, it did. Now, we'll find out that once Billboard, or not Billboard, but actually Nielsen SoundScan, they put out their official numbers. Now, this is why I say Nicki Minaj did not flop. Now, first and foremost, Nicki Minaj put out this album because she wanted to come back to her roots. She wanted to be respected as an MC and probably do the one thing that she thinks that Iggy Azalea can't, which is really rap. Now, I thought it was a decent album. I, I liked it. I got it. It's cool. You know what I mean? I got some joints on there I like. Now, the breakup shit, that's not for me. I don't want to hear her crying over Scaff Bees or some Negro named Sapphire. That's not my shit. However, she got a couple joints she's kind of spitting. I'm like, I could fuck with that. Now, the reason why I'm going to say 201 is not a flop for her when even compared to somebody like J. Cole, because if you look at it, J. Cole and Nicki Minaj, if you were going to pick who would sell more, you would say Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj was a pop artist. But J. Cole actually sold maybe like 75,000 records more. This is why I'll say it's not a flop because Nicki Minaj is a female. And I know I hate when females even pull the, the, the gender card, but it actually does matter, yo, for a female rapper. There's not much guys gonna buy your shit. That means you're cutting your fan base probably by like 40%. Because a lot of guys ain't fucking buying the product from a female MC. Now, niggas usually don't even buy product from a male MC. But regardless, when you look at the demographics of people who are going to buy music, especially hip-hop, there's probably about half, or not even half, but I'll say 40, 35 to 45%, they're males. Will they buy a fucking Gucci man, or not even Gucci man, let's say, because Gucci ain't selling shit, he's only selling tickets on fucking betting when he's gonna go back to jail but let's say drake about i probably or let's not say drake because niggas love to say they don't buy drake so let's say fucking kendrick yes kendrick's a good candidate kendrick is probably about 40 percent niggas buying his shit right now if it, it, as compared to fucking nikki nikki probably have about like 10 percent of guys buying her shit now is she less as hot no because it actually comes back in ticket sales because people do want to see her and other endorsement because she got the attention. But people just won't buy her shit. Now, I like Nicki Minaj, but will I be going out there to cop all her shit? Like, Nicki Minaj doesn't appeal to me. She appeals to fucking ratchets, hood rats, chicks that talk with a lot of Ebonics, a bunch of fucking ratchet chicks. That shit what she appeals to. If you're not one of those chicks, she's not really appealing to you. Nicki Minaj is appealing to a certain demographic like everybody else is. So I'm going to say it's not a flop. I think it's decent. I think if Nicki Minaj was a male, her album would have probably did 450000 or 400000 That's just my estimation, or at least over three hundred. But niggas is not going to fuck with no Nicki Minaj. You know what I mean? Niggas just won't fuck with it. It's, it's different if it's a fucking Beyonce or a singer, but a female rapper, guys don't fuck with it. And a lot of people are going to be like, no, it's because they don't find her interest, they don't like her raps, but just be honest with yourself, man. You're not going to cop a female shit regardless. Maybe if it's a Lauryn Hill, but not a chick that's fucking twerking all the time. Let's be honest, right? The females are going to buy the shit, you're not going to buy it. And that's why I think her numbers is as how it is. Do I think it's a flop? No, she's going to make her money. She's actually a person that sells most of her revenue or the most of her revenue from the album that comes in from singles. 
doesn't come in from fucking album sales. That's what I was trying to explain to somebody. I'm like, yo, Bobby Shmurda, him and fucking uh, Epic Records, they recouped. It's not about album sales. It's about single sales. Single sales actually, in this day and age, accounts for more than more revenue than actual purchase an entire album. And soon, streaming sales or streaming revenue from Spotify, Pandora, all these other sites, it'll soon surpass album sales. Nobody's fucking buying albums. If you can't go on fucking Pirate Bay or some type of bit touring to get your album by now, nigga, kill yourself. You're probably the same nigga still paying for that Piff mixtapes and still paying for porn. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a fucking flop? I say no. But I want you guys to weigh in. Chime in, get in the comment box. Make sure you like, definitely subscribe. It's your boy DJ Academics, man. I'm out.